Hey guys, it's your girl Design It's Me. Welcome back to Design It's Me Daily, where we design our own clothes, we design our own business, and we design our own lives. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how super simple and easy it is to draft a basic pants pattern from a pair of pants that you already have in your closet. Now, this is episode two in our Clone Your Closet series, so I really hope you guys are enjoying and let's get into the video. You're gonna need a pair of pants, pick one that fits you relatively well, pattern paper a razor blade, some sort of writing apparatus, a ruler, a pair of scissors, let's just set those things aside, we'll roll out some pattern paper and let's get started. Now you are going to want to pick a pair of pants that has a bit of stretch, all right, because this is a stretch pants pattern that we are going to be drafting, just something to remember. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's just grab our razor blade. And the first thing we're gonna do is open out our seams because we are basically taking our pants completely apart in order to draft each piece separately. Now this is the most accurate method of drafting a pattern from an already existing piece of clothing the first hoodie pattern that we drafted we did not take it apart all right we just transferred our seam lines and did a general tracing around the circumference of the hoodie but for this one because it's a more accurate fitting garment we are going to take the pants completely apart and draft each piece separately so just take your time one that weighs a blade along the seam And when we get to that elastic band, we're just going to cut all the way through that on both ends. Okay, so this is how our pants should currently be looking. And before we take apart that crotch part, we're just going to cut our pants to the length that we want it. So whatever is your desired length, just go ahead and cut your pants. Take that razor blade and open out our final seam. Perfect. So this is how our pair of pants should currently be looking, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove that elastic band that you're seeing there. Because it's gonna cause a bit of an issue when we're trying to lay our pattern down flat, we're just gonna remove it quickly. But when we're drafting, we are going to add that allowance back. Alright, so pay attention and let's continue. So as you all know, the longer curve is for the back and the shorter curve is for the front. Alright, most of us have a little more booty <laughs> than others. So the longer the back is, that is just to accommodate for the extra curves and the extra shape. So let's just accurately trace along the circumference of our pants, tracing the curves first. And before we connect our hemline, we are just going to measure the length of both sides just to make sure that it's accurate all right we don't want a long and short hem <laughs> okay so just measure that and connect your lines okay so because this is a high-waisted pants, as you can see, the front of my pants is currently a little bit shorter than the back, and we do not want that, all right? We want our front to be a little bit higher, or we want it to be at least the same length as the, the back, all right? So what we're gonna do is just measure from the curve on one side to the curve on the other side, take the measurement for the back, and transfer that same measurement to the front. So as you can see, the front is now in alignment with the back. Let's just connect that and we're going to add our allowance. So we're going to add one inch. Then we're 
then we're gonna add another one inch and then we are going to add a half inch to close off our waistband allowance and I'm gonna explain why we added so much allowance in a second all right now remember when we opened our seams there was a bit of allowance already there just because uh, we opened the seams all right so instead of adding a half inch we are only going to add an additional quarter of an inch to our allowance so that's going to make up a total of one half inch all right so just add an additional quarter inch as our allowance but remember when you are stitching you are stitching half inch we only added a quarter because a quarter is already on the parts right? fantastic so let's just go ahead and label our patterns we're gonna call this the basic shorts pattern on the side that is the back and if you wanted a seam line on the side a side seam you could just you know divide it in half and create a side seam line but it's not absolutely necessary I prefer pants without a side seam anyways especially if um, it's super stretchy pants and there are no pockets all right so we're just gonna cut around our pattern And I know I did not mention this before, but we did add one inch for the hem allowance, guys. And that's because we fold a half inch and then another half inch and we do a nice top stitch uh, for our hem. Do not forget to be detailed with your pattern. So I just put the one inch elastic band so that we remember that it's a one inch elastic band. I'm just going to quickly show you guys why we added so much allowance to our waistband and that is because when we are inserting uh, elastic into our waistband we take our elastic we line it up half inch away from the edge of our fabric We fold half inch over and then we fold it one inch over all right so when we are finished encasing our elastic it's always very very seamless and very very neat and that is how our pattern should be looking <laughs> so with this pattern you guys can create as many shorts as you like as we continue this series you guys are going to definitely need the patterns that we are currently creating all right so that you guys could follow along with me as we create other designs and as usual if you guys did enjoy this video do not forget to leave me a like leave me a comment in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye